Oh, hey there. Later. Ooh, got something good for me? What's up? I was told we wouldn't be tested on this. Silliest dress band of raping, slaving marauders you'll see east of California. I'll say that. Where's that touch of old world class? Although, I hear the soldiers mount each other as much as they mount their women, so maybe they did keep a little something from the Empire. No such privilege for the women, though. Figures. So, to answer your question, they're a bunch of hypocritical jerkwads. It's a word. Why does everyone always say that? Okay, then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. What's the situation with the giant? It's not in progress if you're up here talking to me. Get it taken care of. Told to pass. You may pass. Hey there, mister. Can you help me find Mr. Cuddles? Mr. Cuddles is my teddy. I lost him, and I don't remember where. Thanks. Let me know when you find him. Another glorious day in this man's army. Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Hot damn, you're right! It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Just so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. What is it, outsider? 
If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. All right, what's on your mind? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. Bye. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years, so a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, I figure it's been a nice day. Yeah, a real nice day. Did I say that? Sometimes I just say stupid things. Sorry about that. Pearl will tell you when the time comes. If... I mean... I should really be going. sights on the outsider.
outsider. Need something? An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Bye! Any outsiders lately? You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here are mighty guns to destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... I'm not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know.
another glorious day in this man's army. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. I still can't believe how you ran through that artillery barrage. I still can't believe how you ran through that artillery I'd barrage. Sorry, I've got work to take care of. What is it, Outsider? The next time you leave Nellis, keep an eye out for missiles. We're down to a five-year supply for our launchers. Come find me when you've got some to turn in. How many? Good work. Thanks. It's better than nothing. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Hey there. What I could use is some scrap metal. 
It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, ah, uh, forget it. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, geez. I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Really? <laughs> That's so sweet. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. 
Loyal still needs help getting the plane back to Nellis, and there may be others who still require assistance. Bye. to our dreams. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? She does? You mean it? That's incredible! What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Again, how's your boomer friend? I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. I hope you're doing well, friend. Welcome back. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Take all the time you need. Welcome back. My terms... You'll have to try harder than that. The rumors about my heart being made of stone are true. 
The Crimson Caravan's company's operations require dependable employees. I'm not going to reward someone for breaking their work contract. I'm glad to hear it. It's been a pleasure. I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the ground. Have you spoken with McLafford? I see. Well, thank you for trying. I'm off to go see my admirer now. I can't believe I'm going to meet my red-headed lady soon. I'm really nervous about it. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for... Like I said. Finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while, so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Hello. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Bye. Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. I can't believe we may see this. Super